preparation for NATO's Neptune Strike 2024 exercises, the Standing NATO Mine Countermeasures Group 2, SNMCMG2, has launched a series of coordinated mine countermeasure operations as of October 25, 2024. This strategic effort brings together multiple NATO vessels, including Turkey's TCG Akakoka, Romania's ROS Vice Admiral Constantin Bolescu, Italy's ITS Algaro, and Spain's ESPS Taha, all operating in concert to secure safe passage for the Turkish landing helicopter dock LHD TCG Anadolu. These operations are critical as TCG Anadolu prepares for amphibious maneuvers central to the upcoming Neptune strike. The SNMCMG-2 task force, comprising advanced mine countermeasure, MCM vessels, plays a pivotal role in detecting and neutralizing underwater threats. This capability is essential to safeguarding larger vessels, like the TCG Anadolu, enabling it to lead amphibious assaults without the risks posed by underwater explosives. The task force's methodical sweeps of the designated maritime zones will ensure a secure path for amphibious forces, establishing a clear, safe route for the exercises. Each vessel within SNMCMG-2 brings specialized capabilities to the mission, reflecting NATO's commitment to a coordinated interoperable maritime force. The Turkish TCG Akakoka, for instance, is equipped with advanced sonar and mine disposal systems, crucial for locating and eliminating mines. Romania's ROS Vice Admiral Constantin Bolescu supplements these efforts with additional sonar and dive support. Meanwhile, the Italian Navy's ITS Algaro contributes its extensive experience in mine warfare from the Mediterranean, and Spain's ESPS Taha adds an extra layer of defense with its unmanned mine countermeasure technology. Together, these vessels enable a robust, multi-layered defense approach that enhances NATO's overall MCM capabilities. At the heart of Neptune Strike's amphibious phase is TCG Anadolu, Turkey's largest and most versatile warship. Designed as a multipurpose amphibious assault ship, the TCG Anadolu supports a variety of operations, including the deployment of helicopters, amphibious vehicles, and troop forces to project strength in contested or hostile areas. For the upcoming exercise, TCG Anadolu will lead simulated amphibious landings, bolstered by SNMCMG-2's preparatory MCM efforts to ensure safe maneuvering and landing zones. Commissioned in April 2023, TCG Anadolu stands as a powerful asset in Turkey's naval fleet. Measuring 231 meters in length and displacing 27,436 tons, this vessel was constructed by Turkey's Sedef shipyard in collaboration with Spain's Navantia, based on the Juan Carlos ILHD design, but tailored to Turkish operational requirements. Equipped with a flight deck that features six landing spots and a ski jump ramp, TCG Anadolu is designed to launch a diverse mix of aircraft, including drones, helicopters, and potentially short takeoff and landing fighter jets. A defining characteristic of TCG Anadolu is its adaptation as a drone carrier, reflecting Turkey's strategic pivot from traditional aircraft to unmanned systems. In lieu of F-35 fighter jets, TCG Anadolu is engineered to support Turkey's advanced unmanned combat aerial vehicles. UCAVs, including the Bayraktar TB3 and Kizilelma. This focus on drone deployment marks TCG Anadolu as the first naval vessel to emphasize UCAVs, granting Turkey an innovative edge in maritime and aerial warfare. In addition to drones, TCG Anadolu carries a range of other assets, up to 12 helicopters, amphibious landing craft, and up to 94 military vehicles, including tanks and amphibious assault vehicles. This versatility equips TCG Anadolu to handle a broad spectrum of operational demands, making it an invaluable asset for Turkey's defense and NATO's regional exercises. As Neptune Strike 2024 unfolds, the combined capabilities of SNMCMG-2's MCM vessels and TCG Anadolu's advanced amphibious and drone deployment capabilities underscore NATO's adaptability and technological advancement in modern warfare. These preparations not only enhance interoperability among NATO forces, but also ensure operational readiness and maritime security across the alliance's theaters.